In a typical year, there are about 2.2 million weddings that happen. So according to the Not Real Wedding Study, the average cost of a wedding in 2021 was $22,500. Where you have your wedding makes a big impact on how much it costs. So we see big cities have higher costs associated with them. So for example, New York, New Jersey, that average ranged closer to $49,000 to $54,000 for an average wedding. 50% of the spend typically typically goes towards those big ticket items that everyone needs, a venue, catering, rentals. So the global spend in the wedding industry is about $250 billion and $100 billion of that is spent here in the US. Interestingly, the millennial audience and the Gen Z audience are really prioritizing sustainability. It's becoming one of those things that's top of mind in all facets of their lives. So naturally, it's finding its way into wedding planning. In November 2019, my husband and I got married and we had, I think, what a lot of people consider a fairly sustainable wedding. This was very important to us as we both care about the planet a lot. So we did everything that we could to make it as green as possible. Something that was really important for us was to source our food as locally and as seasonally as possible. And we did that by working with a local caterer and then choosing our menu based on all of the ingredients that were in season and also available locally. And we were also to sure to compost any scraps um, or any, any bits of food that weren't eaten at the end of the wedding as well, because obviously we want to give that food back to the earth. And it's really important for me to say as well that we're both plant-based. So our wedding was entirely vegan. Another consideration was flowers. So we also decided to source the majority of our flowers from my parents' garden. Um, so they were super, super local and we just kind of really pared back on the flowers. We went very kind of wild and local. And finally, a big consideration and perhaps the biggest consideration for me was of course my dress and also the clothes that our guests were going to be wearing. So I actually wore a vintage dress that had been worn at least a few times before it was over 100 years old. My shoes I bought secondhand, and then I also changed into a party dress because I didn't want to dance the night away in antique lace. And the party dress that I changed into for dancing was a rental. I rented that dress and that was really important to me um, because I definitely didn't want to, want to wear any new clothes on my wedding day. Those who are already sustainable kind of already know the moves that they want to make for their wedding day to make it more eco-friendly. It's those that don't have that as a regular practice in their lives that kind of feel like there's a almost maybe a negative connotation of having an eco-friendly wedding that makes them feel like they might be going without or sacrificing. That's what we run into so many times with the wedding industry though, is that people want to buy everything new. They want it all to be fresh. They want it to be the first time it's being used on their wedding day. So they're buying centerpiece vases brand new instead of renting them from their florist or thrifting them themselves. So some of the higher level and or more time consuming ways that you could have a more sustainable event would be potentially thrifting and reselling your decor afterwards. Using something like compostable plates and cups, making sure to use recycled goods for all of your paper items. And if you wanna take it to the next level, maybe consider cutting down your guest count just a little bit. Not only will it save you money, but you'll have less food waste and less carbon emissions from all of your guests traveling there. And finally, one of the biggest ways that you can save and be sustainable for your wedding day is to consider getting used attire. I myself purchased a used wedding dress and we allowed our entire wedding party to choose their own attire as well, as long as it fell within our color palette and it ended up saving all of us a lot of money and we weren't buying things brand new. The challenge the industry is having towards these more sustainable practices is historically clients haven't been asking for it. Vendors are very keen to delight their clients. And so when more people prioritize sustainability, I think these options will be more universal. But that's why I think we haven't done it. And I also think that inherently it's a little bit harder, right? You have to care a little bit more and you have to go through some extra steps. And a lot of these vendors 
haven't needed to do that, right? It isn't something their clients were demanding, so maybe they didn't choose to. And then there's some people who are revolutionary in the space and they really want to make that change. They want to be the thought leader in that space. And so they're offering these services and showcasing them in their meetings with clients and finding that a lot of clients like that and they want to participate in a more sustainable practice. So we've seen lighting companies, for example, revolutionize their carbon footprint by changing the equipment they're using. They're now solar powered lights. We've seen floral companies recycle throughout the event and then offer a full breakdown service, which means they're composting all organic matter of materials and really reducing that landfill buildup. One of the things we always say is it doesn't have to be 100% carbon neutral wedding for it to be sustainable. You can make small swaps as a couple that will actually make a big difference in your day. I know a lot of people say that organizing weddings is really, really stressful, but honestly, because I think we had pared things back and really tried to just focus on the things that meant the most to us, um, I loved it. I loved organizing the wedding. 